something Sophia said to me, I think, the start of this all. She said, you have to keep living just because this is happening. Michael Strahan's 19-year-old daughter, Isabella, is opening up about a heartbreaking medical diagnosis. Michael's daughter shares that she has been diagnosed with medulloblastoma, a malignant brain tumor found in children. During an interview with ABC News' Robin Roberts alongside her dad on January 11th. October 1st, that's when I definitely noticed headaches, nausea, couldn't walk straight. And what did you think was going on at the time? I thought I had vertigo, because I, I, I looked that up and associated that with walking straight. So that was my problem. You knew she was having headaches, but did you have any idea how extreme the headaches were? No, no. And you know, 18 years old at the time, you're not thinking this. Maybe it's vertigo, maybe it's something else. But she's young, she's strong, she's healthy. Look at her, she looks great. A few weeks later, on October 25th, her condition taking a turn for the worst. I woke up probably at like 1 p.m. I dreaded waking up, but I was throwing up blood. And my sister, I was like, hmm, this probably isn't good. So I, I texted her, who then notified the whole family. Isabella goes on to explain that after her symptoms continued, her dad Michael insisted they look deeper into her health. And that was when we decided you need to really go see a get a thorough checkup. Mm -hmm. And thank goodness for the doctor. I, I feel like this doctor saved her life. After completing an MRI, Isabella received a life-changing call. She did an EKG there for my heart and like other stuff, but she didn't have an MRI machine. Mm -hmm. So I went to take it somewhere else, and then she calls me, and she's like, you need to head to Cedar sinai right now. I'm going to meet you there. Once the doctor saw the results, called her and told her just get to the hospital. Michael, who took a step back from his hosting duties at Good Morning America in November, shares that he learned about the diagnosis before his daughter, adding that it, quote, didn't feel real. I don't really remember much. I just yeah. remember trying to figure out how to get to L.A., ASAP and and it just doesn't feel real. In late October, Isabella underwent emergency surgery to remove the mass, sharing that she has recently finished radiation therapy. However, Isabella explains that she's still in the process of treatment and will start chemotherapy next month, as well as return to college in the near future. Thanks. <laughs> I'm looking forward to getting back to college and moving back to California and just starting my school experience over. Not over, but just restarting getting back into a routine and something that's enjoyable. And for Michael, the father says that the entire experience has given their family a new perspective. I literally think that in a lot of ways, I'm, I'm the luckiest man in the world because I got an amazing daughter and I know she's going through it, but I know that we're never giving more than we can handle and that she is gonna crush this. As much as I, I need her, I don't know what I would do without her.